What will happen if I do not take my shirt, my, my hat off? If you refuse, um, you're going to be arrested and taken to jail. If I don't take my hat off? You're going to be fingerprinted and processed. Actually, you're not going to be taken, you're not going to be taken uh, to jail. You're going to be fingerprinted and released. But I'll be arrested though? Yes. For wearing a hat that says Make America Great Again. That's correct. Huh, I'm surprised that didn't happen a lot earlier than I would have thought, looking at the larger timeline of the evisceration of people's personal freedoms. And as I even warned before, clothing will soon be made illegal. More to that in just a little bit. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski of We Are Change the Work. And holy cow, do we have ourselves an absolute media firestorm happening right now surrounding Joe Rogan and the latest announcement of his recovery, which uh, a lot of people in the mainstream media and blue check mark corporate establishment approved snobs are scuffing at with absolute displeasure. What's really going on here as well as what's happening in Israel? Holy freaking cow, we're going to be talking about in this video plus a lot more, but... Before we begin, it's important to clarify that we still don't know exactly where this particular video came from and it has not been independently verified. But with the way that things are going, it wouldn't surprise me if, if this was actually a legitimate event that unfolded somewhere in the United States. Especially with people's personal freedoms and liberties being violated more than ever, especially in Australia, where the government just reached an absolute new low as citizens of South Australia are now forced to download a government-made application that uses facial recognition, and geolocation technology, which will literally have the government texting you at random times, which citizens will have to answer back within 15 minutes of taking a picture of their face in the location where they are supposed to be, or else they will face the full reprisal and punishment of the jackboot police state at their door hunting them down. I'm not kidding you, this is absolutely draconian, totalitarian, and in the long scheme of things, absolutely evil when it comes to destroying any semblance of having a free existence by an overly zealous totalitarian state that is using this entire tragedy for political gain. They are literally acting like the worst type of abusive relationship that anyone could be in, demanding that you text them back with a photo of yourself where you're supposed to be or else they'll throw you in jail. Wow, just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, this is the absolute nonsense that the free, law-abiding, innocent people of Australia have to go through with their ever so insecure, overly aggressive, and dangerous government that they relinquished their rights to. Some people say that this can't happen to the United States. Well. Already, in ways, it is, as we're finding out that some police forces in the United States are using generalized geofence warrants that literally steal the private information for anyone in a specific area, as this has been used by police departments during police protests and also the ATF's investigations into arson attacks. What do the feds do with this information? Well, they're keeping an eye out for you, just like the government of Australia. All, of course, to protect you for your safety, as literally the same government gives billions of dollars of arms to the Taliban, while not only leaving dogs and American citizens behind, but also specifically an Afghan interpreter who was the one who rescued Joe Biden in 2008, who is now saying that the United States betrayed him. And I think it's fair to say with what this administration did, the way that it carried out an absolute, almost deliberate, botched criminal string of events when it came to the latest events in Afghanistan, that is a betrayal against the American people in more ways than one was the high command of government punished? Were the military officials that looked the other way punished here? Was the military industrial complex that pulls the string of government and mainstream media, were they punished here for their criminal actions? No. Except for one U.S. Marine that decided to voice his opinions about the matter. He was punished. While, of course, the military industrial complex just decided to give a raise to some of those people pulling their strings as the House and the U.S. representatives just approved $25 billion 
in a boost to, quote, defense spending, which will predominantly go to the military industrial complex that has been a part of creating this monstrous situation in Afghanistan. And as the people who pushed for this conflict, who profited off of it heavily, reap the rewards, American citizens are still left behind, with even some information coming out of the White House highlighting how some officials there are absolutely horrified at what just happened, which a lot of people are describing as failing at a no-fail mission. That's absolutely insane and disgusting, and to be honest with you, it will only get worse from here. Where the government ended one conflict abroad, but is looking to start one here domestically in the United States. And what do you expect with scenes like this unfolding on American streets? And hey, if you like controversial hats and pieces of clothing, you should also definitely check out thebestpoliticalshirts.com, a cheap, cheesy plug here. But seriously, if you're looking for a way to meet new friends, a way to potentially even ruffle some feathers, trigger some Kyles and Karens out there, our shirt store definitely aims to do that, plus a lot more. And even if you don't like clothing for some reason, just scrolling through our store will definitely be very entertaining for you. We have a lot of different products that I think you guys will enjoy. We even got socks, pillows, you name it. We got it. Phone cases. And if you want to be highlighted on the store below, we started to post individuals' pictures of people who are proudly wearing our official uniform out there in the general public. If you'd like to be one of these people, send your photos to info at wearechange.org. Info at wearechange.org. We even had Sherry Peel Jackson send in a photo. She's absolutely an awesome awesome human being. If you haven't heard of her, definitely look up Sherry Peel Jackson, an absolutely awesome human being that is definitely worth finding out more about. If you want to block your face and location, that's cool too, but uh, it's pretty awesome building this type of community and being able to see it in front of your very eyes. No matter what the mainstream media tells you, you are not alone, and there's a lot of other people out there who have critical thinking skills and common sense like you do. Also, today on LukeUncensored.com, we are going to be getting into some very interesting news from China with their ban on uh, effeminate males on television. There's a lot of teachers in trouble, especially in California, and some even more crazier news coming out of the Wii Spa, as well as some new surprising information surrounding Tricky Bill. All that, plus a lot more, will be discussed on LukeUncensored.com. They will be adult topics for a mature audience only. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful with how I mention this next story since it involves words that YouTube doesn't like and it bans people for even just talking about. And before we begin, I have to preface that I am not a medical doctor. You should not be taking any medical advice from anyone, especially on YouTube, what you should be doing is finding out what is right for you as an individual and then looking over the scientific data and evidence and deciding what move is right for you. And I, I think it's also fair to say that there's been a large swamp of a lot of government officials and representatives on the mainstream media that have been pushing for the opposite of that and have been saying that one procedure is good for everyone. This push for this one procedure has been relentless. It's been everywhere. There's been billions of dollars in advertisement campaigns. There's been the buying off of social media influencers. There was different rewards given by the establishment to take this procedure. Now, some government officials are moving towards punishing people if they don't take this procedure. And now, uh, we're finding out that these procedures are not enough and that you need more of them. And now, there's a concerted effort to have a third procedure for pushed on people to the point where two senior FDA officials working specifically on this procedure have decided to step down because they are, quote, frustrated with the government, with the White House, quote, getting ahead of the agency on this third procedure. Now, there's been many extortative efforts here, and with this larger push, some people are, of course, a little skeptical, especially with some of the latest data and information coming out of Israel that literally had one of the most 
compliant populations that did what they were told, took whatever procedure the government wanted them to take. They implemented a passport system that punished people who didn't take it. And with one of the world's highest populations that took this procedure, they are also now the world's hotspot for this sickness which this procedure was supposed to stop. This as cases are soaring as nearly 0.2% of their entire population got this sickness. Now you compared what happened to Israel to India, a place that has an extremely low rate of people taking this procedure. They did implement an alternative treatment to this sickness, an alternative that we can't mention. Now, if you go on the NIH website, there's actually some articles and some preliminary studies showing that this alternative treatment has the possibility of, of helping here. It's also important to note that this treatment is pretty cheap. It's readily available. It's been used on humans for 35 years. There's been over 4 billion doses administered. The FDA approved this treatment for human beings before, and the two individuals who developed this treatment in 2015 were awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for medicine. Now, this alternative hasn't just been used in India just moments ago. Joe Rogan, popular podcaster, announced that he got sick and he took a number of alternative treatments for this sickness, including the which is this treatment that we're talking about here, which he said after a few days of using, he literally felt great and almost back to normal because of. Now, normally, if we had a legitimate you know, media presence, a le legitimate organization that, that did journalism, the news articles would read, great news, Joe Rogan recovers, is healthy, using alternatives which we should look into, have more studies about, and investigate further while having an adult discussion about it. And what did we, what did we get? The exact opposite of that. As of course, this treatment also is used as an anti-parasitic for horses, which the mainstream media is obsessively focusing about for unknown reasons. Well, we know the reasons, but their focus on, on this particular issue should be perplexing for the average human being who's asking themselves what's really going on here. As many people are very angry and disappointed at Joe Rogan, he's being attacked non-stop on CNN, a supposed news network that literally has the likes of Brian Steltler trying to give Joe Rogan health advice and what he should be doing with his own personal body. This criticism is absolutely insane and is usually done by the same individuals that are saying my body, my choice, especially in regards to the latest news of what's happening down in Texas. But it almost seems like a lot of people are angry and disappointed that Joe Rogan was able to recover and be healthy. Now, what happened to Joe Rogan? Did he make the right move here? Did he make a mistake? Well, that should be up for a conversation. Sure, the man has actually started a very important debate here, and his health, how he does after this, will be the true test of who was right and who was wrong. And with the way that things are going, this surely does highlight a situation that portrays that the criticism, attacks, and blatant smears against Joe Rogan are absolutely unwarranted for now. Still, we have preliminary information coming in. There should be more studies. There should be more investigations. I'm also very happy to announce that the developer of this treatment is going to begin experiments with this specific sickness and good. We need more of that. It's also important to note here that other big pharma organizations are working on an anti-parasitic pill. Why? Because there were some preliminary investigations and experiments that highlighted some promising results. Does that mean this is right? I don't know that answer. You might be allergic to it. Who knows? You might have an adverse reaction to it. What is right for you should be something that you need to figure out yourself after examining the data, the science, the studies, and by having real honest conversations, which we need more of. We need more studies, we need more dialogue, we need less criticism, we need less attacking, we need more of creating a path forward that will lead us towards making the right decisions for 
everyone as an individual. Again, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not telling you what to do. You shouldn't be taking medical advice from YouTubers. You should be using this as a launch point to look into the studies, to look into the data, and to make up that decision for yourself. And if you agree with that, share this video with your friends and family members. If you disagree with that, let me know why in the comment section below. If you dislike this video, click this like, but it's it's literally you guys double clicking, sharing these videos. For some reason, a lot of our videos are being re restricted by, by YouTube, age restricted. When, when we don't show any, any crazy stuff, it doesn't make sense. And literally one of the few ways that these videos could get out there is you double clicking the URL and sharing it with some random person who messaged you or your family member, whoever it is. You guys getting the videos out there is the only reason I'm here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.